Hi, my name is Hannah Jane, and I'm the culture editor of the Reykjavik Grapevine. Today, we're in my house. No, I'm just kidding. We're at Pastel Flower Studio, um, which is probably the most beautiful store in Reykjavik. Not probably, definitely. It's like an oasis. And um, so I was asked to curate a Valentine's Day box um, for our store. If you've been to our store, shop.grapevine.is, you'll see that we have a ton of boxes for different themes, like Northern Lights box, like books box that we like. So I was asked to curate a Valentine's Day box and I kind of took it really seriously. <laughs> and I decided if I was gonna make a box of like my dream Valentine's Day gifts, then they were genuinely going to be exactly what I just really wish that someone would get me for Valentine's Day. Um, so I'm so excited to show you everything that I picked. I also just want everyone to know that the majority of the items in this box were not sold on our store previously. So when I was asked to make this box, I made our publisher contact all the places I would, you know, I wanted gifts from to put it in our store, to put in our box. Because again, this is like genuinely my favorite products right now and I'm so excited to talk about them. We start with a copy of the Reykjavik Grapevine. Every single purchase you make from our store comes with one. This was the last cover, Briet and Jofriver, our music awards. I wrote this, I'm really proud of it. Pick it up, check it out. But anyway, that comes with all of our purchases, so who cares? <laughs> Let's get into the gifts. Okay, so the first, the first part of our box, um, and the reason we're here, is we have a beautiful, beautiful mini bouquet by Pastel. Um, so, if you've been to the store, if you know anything about the flower studio, you know they have these gorgeous, really just like um, primal, natural bouquets of dried herbs and Icelandic flowers. Um, they last for a really, really long time. I was given a bouquet on my birthday two years ago that um, I might still have in my house, but it was next to my bed on my bedside table for months and months and months, and it was just gorgeous. They're just stunning. Um, I am like obsessed with this place. So we've got there, they have provided mini bouquets that you can get. Now, when we send them, they're in this like super sturdy box. So they will arrive to you just as pristine. This is a pink one um, for Valentine's Day. Because again, at the grapevine, which I forgot to mention, we believe in made up holidays just to show the people we love that we love them. <laughs> But yes, this is the first thing. Uh, it's a mini bouquet from Pastel. I love this place. And if you're a friend of mine watching this and you need to get me a gift, well, now you know. So this is another product I'm super excited about. And I'm also just so excited that now we have them in our store because I'm totally obsessed with this brand. They're called Earth. You are the um, Icelandic letter, um, and they're a cosmetics brand made in Iceland. Um, they sell soaps, they sell diffusers. I have two of their diffusers in my house. I love, love, love them. But my favorite product of theirs right now is their soap. So they have four soaps, one for each season. Um, we are using the spring season in this, um, and it's called Bjarmi, and they're, they're just like really, really gorgeous, and they smell really, really nice, and they're just lovely soaps. I can't say enough good things about them. Um, I actually have to give a shout out to Coca, the homeware store, because that's where I first bought this. I bought this and one of their diffusers there, and I've just been buying more and more ever since, but you should buy them at shop.grapevine.is. <laughs> so anyway, they come in this really beautiful box, and you open it, and I know you're thinking like, oh, it's just a soap. But this is what they look like. Um, I'll try and make this really picturesque. They have this really just sort of beautiful, natural shape. It's very picturesque. It's very gorgeous. I'm like, again, I'm really obsessed. They smell so nice. To be honest, the most exciting part of doing this video for me is that I get to keep all this stuff. Um, and I actually have two of these in my house right now, so. Um, <laughs> Maybe I don't need more, but I guess it's soap that lasts forever. So this is the Bjarmi Spring Soap. It has black tea, nutmeg, and cedrus in it. I don't know what cedrus is actually, but it smells really nice and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Um, and it's made with red marine algae and sea salt. So this is like very much focused on Icelandic ingredients and natural ingredients you can find here. Um, 
Again, I'm really obsessed with it. There's a lot of fantastic Icelandic cosmetic brands um, right now doing really, really beautiful and amazing natural style products, but this is one of my favorites. Also check out their diffusers, amazing, I love them. So now we have the soap, and also their packaging is really cute, not that that matters, but you know, it's a bonus. Oops, I put it in wrong, my bad. <laughs> okay, the next product is another thing I'm really excited about. Uh, I wanna give a shout out to Nielsen, the design store, because they're the one that showed me this originally, and I've been totally obsessed uh, with it since. Um, we have the Spa of Iceland Sara, or Sarah, whatever you wanna say, candle. Um, this is another brand we didn't have in our shop, but we're now selling this um, because I wanted it in the box. It says red fruit and sandalwood. Um, it's a vegan friendly candle. I think this candle just smells really clean and fresh and just really um, inviting as stereotypical as that sounds. I kind of feel like I'm on a, like a shopping show in the 90s right now, like. <laughs> but whatever, I'll go for it. So um, yeah, I was in Nielsen, the store, and I was looking for a gift for someone that I didn't know super well, but you know, you need to get them a gift. And the salesperson there turned me onto this candle and was like, everybody will like this. And I actually bought five of them as Christmas gifts this year. So that shows like, I guess how I think everyone will like it. So we're taking off the packaging. I don't know where to put this. It's so nice. I just think it's really clean and crisp and feminine. Not that smells should have gender, but if they did, I imagine this would be quite like a feminine spa smell. Um, like when you, like I don't know if you're, when like you're, okay, have you ever had that experience when you go back to your parents' house, your mom's house, and like your mom does your laundry or something and it's just so much better than you could ever do your laundry and you get it back and you're like, Ah, uh, like uh, that homey, clean, nice smell. I don't know. It, I hope that this company likes what I'm saying about their candle. But yeah, this is my favorite candle right now. Again, I gave out a ton for Christmas gifts. Um, it's just really, really nice. I'm gonna burn it in the grapevine office for the next few months. So we have that. I'll put that right here. The next thing we have is um, the Fisher. Face Mask, Fisher, um, they're a store downtown. They've won so many Grapevine shopping, like Best of Reykjavik shopping awards over the years. Um, we're really, really big fans of them. We do sell them at shop.grapevine.is. This is their face mask. Um, I know so far we have candles, soap, face mask, and flowers, um, which is a pretty <laughs> stereotypical, I guess, gift, but these are my favorite products, and I guess I um, like the stereotypical gifts. I don't know. So anyway, um, if you know anything about Fisher, they make just really, really amazing sort of small batch. I think it's small batch, like small batch. They make really, really nice solid shampoos. They make amazing solid perfumes, which you should check out. I love their face mask. I have really, really sensitive skin. Um, I don't have good skin. I was not blessed with that. Um, and so I do a lot of face masks and stuff. I really like this one. Um, it has birch leaves in it. I find it's very hydrating. Um, you mix it with water and you know, put it on your face, leave it, wash it off, and then you all feel very luxurious. And if you wanted a really luxurious moment so far, you could put the flowers in like a little vase thingy and then you could put it next to your bath and then you could light the candle and then you could go into a bath and you could wear the mask and use the soap and you would feel sort of like a like a like one of those mommy influencer people who just have way better lives than you. And you look at them and you're like, I wish I was at that level. You could be. Um, but yeah, I love Fisher. You should check out everything by Fisher. Again, their solid perfumes are amazing. Okay, we have a few more things. This is a really extensive box. Again, I thought if I was gonna make a box, I was gonna take it very seriously. Um, the next we have, again, we're going with some stereotypical Valentine's Day gifts. We have the Om Nom Chocolate Love Collection. <laughs> Um, I really, really love Om Nom Chocolate and I love everything they do and what they represent. They put out this chocolate for Pride. I don't know if they did it every year, but they did it last year um, or when before the pandemic when we had Pride, which was two years ago. Um, and I think I ate like 
five of them. I love Om Nom. Um, this is their love collection, which is love. And you know it's love because it's red. And everyone knows red is the color of love, or at least that's what marketing tells us. So I'm gonna open it. I don't know if I was supposed to open this one, but whatever. Oh, it's so cute. It's quite like, oh, I ripped it. That wasn't picturesque. Oop. Okay, so the collection comes with two. You have this darker red one, which has, is lacrys and raspberry, and then you have the pink one, which is sea salted toffee. Um, so it's actually quite nice because it caters to both taste sets. Like you have those people who really like licorice chocolate and like that super intense taste. You have that and then you have sort of the people who just want a lot of sugar and that's why you have sea salted toffee. I like both. I'm not particularly picky. I don't know if I'm allowed to, mm, whatever. Again, the best part of this video is I get to keep this. Ooh. Um, the thing about Omnom, again, is they make everything in Reykjavik. They have come so far. When they started, I remember going on chocolate tours at their factory and just checking everything out and being so inspired by their quality and their drive and their creativity. And I think they've really put Icelandic chocolate on the map. I know they have, um, I know they've like won a ton of international awards, which they deserve. Um, anyway, the chocolate's really beautiful. I'm gonna try a tiny piece. Mm. I'm gonna eat all of that later. Okay, so that's really good. That is so cute. I think this is also a good gift if you have to get a Valentine's Day gift for someone you don't know very well and you just sort of want them to be happy, like your mother-in-law or someone like that, just buy them the love collection. No one, everyone will like that. No one will be displeased. So we have that, lovely. Another brand that I've loved over the years, it was actually, I wanted them in the grapevine shop ages ago and we've been selling them and they've been so popular, which I'm so excited about, is Sole. They're a cosmetics brand here that also um, is very much concentrated on showcasing natural Icelandic ingredients. Everything they make, um, I don't know, I don't really, I, I don't know the correct words because I'm not a scientist, but um, it's very natural. It's very much based in, again, Icelandic nature, using algae, herbs, their stuff's amazing. I'm a really big fan of their shampoo. I love that stuff. I also love their like hand lotion in the green bottle. That's really nice. But because it's Valentine's Day and Valentine's Day means like um, affection, where <laughs> I put in the Kish Tumig healing lip balm, which is a lip balm that Kish Tumig means kiss me. So I, it's a lip balm that will make people want to kiss you. Or if they do kiss you, it will make your lips like nice and soft and, you know, kissable. I don't know, whatever word you would use. But their stuff, this is certified organic with Icelandic herbs. Their stuff is just all so nice. And again, they're, I'm just so excited to see everything they put out. I'm trying to open it, but this packaging is quite intense. So I'm gonna open it and it's not gonna be in a very picturesque manner. Ooh, cute. So this is what it looks like. I feel like if you were one of those girls when you were younger that shopped a lot at Lush and bought a lot of those Lush lip scrubs, I'm sure people outside of, they used to have Lush here, so never mind. But you know those Lush lip balms they used to have that like Coca-Cola flavored and peppermint flavored and you'd scrub your lips and that was all natural? This is like the grown up version of that. This is for people we've moved on from like the super sugary sweet tastes and now we want something natural and you know, I guess mature and clean, and that is this. Sealed for your protection. Mm. So it's lip balm, we know how that works. I'm wearing lipstick, but. Mm. I already feel like I'm ready to kiss someone. Oh, I wanna read the package so I know what's in it. 
New information, everyone. You can also use this to rejuvenate tired eyes. Like when you wake up and your eyes are really puffy. Um, fun fact, in the movies, that's why they put cucumbers in your eyes, because that's supposed to help. But I think this is probably more effective. Um, I'm aging, so I'm very insecure about that, obviously. Um, so I will try that, and I will get back. It also is supposed to have a healing effect on hemorrhoids. Not a very Valentine's Day topic, but helpful to know. Um, and yeah. Oh, this is so interesting. I didn't even know you could use it on your eyes, which is amazing to know. So this is the Soli Kistumin Healing Balm. Very excited to have that. Okay, now the last thing, a lot of these gifts have been very like self-care, you know, lovey-dovey chocolate bath stuff or whatever. But that's not all I'm about, you know, for a Valentine's Day gift. You also need something intellectually stimulating and you need something that's gonna provoke conversation at your Valentine's Day dinner with your sweetheart. I don't think I've ever used the word sweetheart before that sentence, but anyway. So I chose the bonus poetry uh, collection, collection, book, I don't know, by Andre Schneier. Um, I think it's like, I think poetry is a really always a nice gift to get someone. I'm a big poetry person, which is sort of the most like not in an eloquent way of saying that I enjoy poetry. But this, okay, so the, the thing about Bonus, for people outside of Iceland who are watching this, Bonus is a grocery store here. And this is sort of a poetic journey through life and love and everything um, set within Bonus um, in the aisles of a Bonus supermarket. And again, we all, you know, throughout the world have supermarkets unless you live in a food desert, and that's a whole nother video, but. Okay, Gillette. He will go far, the boy who sold the old lady, kiwis, and a razor. So that is bonus poetry. It's a really fun read, um, and there's definitely tons of layers to discuss within every work, and I'd highly recommend getting into Andre Schneier and starting here. So, put that there. This is my Valentine's Day box. Um, it's kind of hysterical that my first curated box for the grapevine is about a made up holiday that like really represents capitalism. But I always think if you're going to like, you know, take on capitalism, I mean, you can buy game stock stocks. That seems to be sort of a hit right now. But if you're not gonna do that, you can at least like use these made up holidays to show someone that you love, that you love them. And this is my dream gift box. So again, to my friends, my family members, uh, potential lovers who are watching this, this is the stuff I like. Um, so if you need to get me a gift, this is it. Or you could just get me game stock stock as well. That would also be super appreciated today. Um, we'll see what happens next week with that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. You can pick this up in shop.grapevine.is and if you use the code Hannah's Valentine's, Hannah Valentine's, you get free DHL shipping. Um, that will be in the description in case I fucked up that code, which is super possible knowing my history with Grapevine videos. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. And if you enjoyed our content, consider joining our High Five Club, which is a subscription service to um, support everything we do. So thank you and happy Valentine's Day.